Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'd like to show you how I usually start my remixes. Recently, Alan Walker is the song called Hello World, and Alan Walker makes tracks that are great remix material, so let's jump directly into this. So, the first thing I do when I want to remix a song is to use a tool that will split this song into four tracks, the drums, the bass, the vocal and the synths. I personally use Melody ML but there is tons of alternative to it so you can use every website you want. All my life I've been walking on my own When I have my four tracks what I want is the melody and the chords of the song. So if you're lucky, you'll get this on the internet, but if not, you need to find it yourself. And to find the melody, you just need to find a section where uh, the melody is played and to isolate it with an EQ, for example. Then you can render it. And then you can open it in Edison. Go to Tools and Convert Score and Dumb to Piano Roll. It's not perfect but uh, it contains all the notes we need and by just cleaning it a little bit we can recover the original melody. This end can't really find all the notes that compose the chords so what I usually do is to use a tool named Wave Candy. So the process is a bit the same. You need to find a section where the chord progression is played. Then you have to use these settings. You need to increase the max resolution, turn the scale all the way up and the dB range all the way down. Then you can play the chord progression and you can freeze what has been played by clicking on this button. Here you can read all the notes that are used in the chords and you can find the original chord progression. So when all of this is done, we can actually start the remix. What is really important is to find as soon as possible if the ID I have in mind for this remix is good or if it's not. Because sometimes the ID you have is just not that great. Maybe um, Melodic Bounce will not fit with this song. Maybe I should do a future bass remix. Maybe I should do a Psytrance remix. I think that there is nothing worse than spending a lot of time on a project and not finishing it because the ID you have at first is not a good one so to be as fast as possible i have some presets uh, from my previous project that i use in this case first choose a kick for example this one and a bass uh, and a vocal chop so i also had an effect track on the vocal chop these are racks that you can find on my previous project I made. And by the way, if you guys want a tutorial on how to process vocal chops in a future video, just let me know in the comments. And then I'll pick this chord progression and transform it into a bass line. And we can focus on the melody and make it more melodic bounce friendly. This is the moment where most of the time you'll know if your ID is going to work or not. And honestly, it's not uncommon that I drop my ID at this point because it's perfectly fine, you know, to just drop an idea because it's not good and it's fine because it took me literally five minutes to get to this point. Sometimes the melody is not meant to be played at a higher tempo, for example. Sometimes um, the overall track does not fit with the genre you, you chose, so... Yeah, whatever. I like the melody, but uh, I feel like this part could be replaced by something else. Yeah, 
I think that this growth works perfectly fine on this drop. Uh, I like how it fulfilled drop and the melody. Let's now focus on the introduction of the track. What I like on the original track is the fact that there's variation every four bars and um, for melodic bounce having changes every four bars makes it feel more energetic in my opinion so it's great. For the chords I'd like to make this typical rhythm that Alan Walker uses in his tracks. I think it works at that tempo too so let's just use it. Let's also add some drums here. And a reese. Okay, I like this introduction. So now let's just make a build up and it's going to be quite easy because we already have the drop and the introduction of the track so we'll just have to combine elements of both to get it done. So I think it's a great idea we have now, so um, we can push it a lot further, but um, I will do it by myself and leave you with the final result. I'll see you guys in the next video and subscribe, please, please subscribe. See you guys. All my life, I've been walking on my own, along the lonely road of heart. On my side, I got symphonies and songs.